Right, hello everyone, welcome to the channel, this is Hollow Warden and today, as I told you guys in the previous video, we're going to talk about every Viking's secret movesets, special ones, if you enjoyed, if it was helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and tell me what else you know about these heroes, it will help me and the community, and I'm going to pin your uh, comment of course, and thank you guys for watching, let's start. Okay, the first hero that we're going to look at is, of course, Raider. Raider is a no-brainer, to be honest. Everyone can play it easily. It's, uh, it doesn't have so many, like, uh, hard mix-ups. Now, let's talk about the special moves. The special things that Raider has. Hey, Raider has uh, the Storm Tap. That is very annoying, and uh, that is what makes Raider so fearsome. So you sometimes uh, let the heavies go, but at the first frames of your heavy, you can go for the storm tap. Also, another special move that Raider has, that he has the neutral unblockable that is very helpful, especially in Dominion or when your opponent gets out of stamina. The zone attack is unblockable and it, it can be chained into another zone attack for more damage. So when your opponent is out of stamina, sometimes... Go for both of them. It's more likely they're not going to dodge and not going to parry them, but so uh, you can just easily just uh, let them fly. And also, the good stuff is uh, you can still do the zone attack with your storm tap. And another thing that the zone attack can do is in between your bashes, for example, the last heavy that you want to do, it's a finisher zone, so uh, be careful of that. You can, for example, go first heavy, then go for it. You can go light, go for it. You can do the second light or second heavy and go for it. And it deals a significant amount of damage. And you can go for the storm tap. You can actually, unless it's not a light, any heavy or any zone attack, you can go for the cancel it into a soft painted into a storm tap. So that's the power of Raider. Sometimes you let them fly, sometimes you don't. And Raider has the soft feint of Guard Break 2, which is nice. You don't need to cancel it to spend more uh, stamina. And the final thing that I'm going to talk about is the dash forward. You can follow it up with another light. It deals. 15 damage and the light deals uh, 12 damage so all in all it's just like you did a top heavy to the guy so don't worry about that and let me show you this if you for example drop your opponent here you can do another top heavy there if you be fast I recommend to do a side heavy because it's more likely to land because sometimes the timing might be off. See, the bot scarf was there and he couldn't block it. Well, to be honest, the Raider is like that. Don't be predictable with him. Sometimes go for it, sometimes don't go for it, sometimes go for a light. See? <laughs> you can be so annoying, guys. Alright, now let's talk about my favorite uh, assassin called Berserker. Berserker is is a hero to be feared and <laughs> many people uh, don't like him, don't like to play against him because he is so mixed up intensive. So, the secret moves. First of all, you have the delayed heavies and like, especially the light, I, I, I like to do that a lot. You see how much you can delay it or you can instantly go for it. So it's going to very it's going to be very efficient, especially when your opponent uh, likes to parry it. You can either go immediately or uh, I I delayed it a lot, or go a little bit later on that. And if your opponent really likes to parry and he has some good reactions, you can do the heavy. And it's hyper armor. Remember that after any feint, any attack that you immediately and that immediately comes out is on, uh, on has a hyper armor property on it. So another thing is his zone attack. 
After the zone attack, you can chain it into a light that is, again, hyper armor, has hyper armor. Another thing, while you're walking back, if you press zone, you will do a zone attack in backward. That has hyper armor at, at uh, again. So, like, you do the first attack, but others will be just uh, going back. Very efficient in Dominions. Because the trajectory around you, you can hit around you. Now, I'm going to talk about the dodge cancel that Berserker has. Berserker can cancel any attack uh, recovery that he has. Light, dodge. You can cancel it with Heavy, I did it a little bit too late. You can cancel it with a dodge. Top heavy, cancel it with a dodge. Cancel it with a dodge. Anything, even zone attack. See, I can cancel the recovery with the dog. That's very efficient against someone who tries to dodge attack you. For example, you do this, they dodge attack, you go for a deflect. Just like Orochi. Orochi has the same thing as uh, Berserker. And a quick fact that Berserker has a little bit more health pool. Uh, unlike the other assassins, because he need he has the like uh, trading ability, so they added more HP to him to be able to trade more attacks. So that's all I can say about uh, Berserker. One final move that is really interesting is let me tell him to hold the position. Stay here. Stay here, buddy. Okay. Okay, you see how far I am? Now watch this. <laughs> you saw that? You saw that beautiful animation? I never knew it unless I saw somebody do it in a Dominion match and catch me running. It's very efficient. It will catch them, guys. While you're locked on to the guy and he tries to run away, just do this. You see? Just like Afira, he will run towards him and then do the dash forward heavy. <laughs> and they do not expect it because they don't know it has that much range. And it will like catch them. So they just try to run away and ignore you. And ignore your attack. Thinking that, okay, he's not going to reach me. So do that in Dominion. But uh, do not usually do it in duels because it's, as you can see, very slow. Unless... You mix up it with the dash forward light. Alright, the hero that we're going to talk about is Highlander. Highlander is a, is, is a tricky one to be honest guys. I myself am not very good at playing with him. I never played him a lot. And let's talk about the dash forward heavy he has. And you can do this as well. I mean this. You can actually delay this move. For example, you go for it, or... Sorry. <laughs> you can immediately go for the uh, soft faint. Or you can delay it a little bit. You saw it. I, I delayed it a little bit. I did it immediately. You can do it. Or you can delay it a little bit. Now, that's the defensive uh, form of uh, Highlander. If you... Keep the heavy down, push on that button, and don't let it go. He will go to a stance, which means the offensive stance. In the offensive stance, where the magic thing happens, that most of the damage that Highlander has comes from. And he has so much mobility, you see, almost no recovery on dodges. So you can, for example, dodge, another dodge. For example, Warden goes for a full, full, uh, full shoulder bash, full charge shoulder bash. Dodge immediately, then immediately again. You can easily just bypass so many attacks with the recovery he has. Not the dash dash back, so do not dash back. You see, it's so slow. But the dash forward has a lower recovery. The side dodges has the lowest recovery. So you can just easily dodge. And if you let your heavy go, it will... Immediately after he lands the attack, he immediately goes back to the defensive form. But if you still hold the hold the heavy after you release it and hold it again, he will turn back to his offensive stance. 
And you can cancel offensive stance anytime you want. For example, you go for it. You can cancel it. And something about uh, the blade attack. The unblockable, you can faint it. And also, you can soft faint, it, soft faint your blade attack into a bash. And you can follow up that bash with a heavy. Like this. I whiffed it. You, after a whiff, you can do that. So, did you see? And this move. While you're holding back in the offensive uh, mode and press guard break, you will do this. But the trick is, uh, many people don't know that and just uh, release uh, their attack while in this animation and think, okay, it's going to autom automat automatically attack, but it's not. So you have to hold on to it. When you saw the red, uh, you orange, did you see, do you see the orange thing happens? Let me show you again. See? That's the time you throw the attack. So uh, have this trick on your mind. And another thing is, <laughs> that is very funny. You can have uh, two soft points in a row. You can do this. <laughs> and this. <laughs> so what I just uh, did is I... Soft pointed the heavy into a kick, and while it was in the kick, I hold back and uh, pressed down uh, back and guard break, and it soft points the kick into the grab. The problem that Highlander has is that uh, if your opponent tries to dodge attack you, you can't really do anything about it, especially in the kicks. At least you can cancel it and go for the, for example, heavy. But yeah, that's that's all. They can counter him a lot. Uh, the downfall of uh, this poor guy, but he hits like a fucking truck, guys. He hits a lot. Uh, he deals a lot of damage. Although he, uh, the attacks are stamina costly, so you can't do so much kicks and stuff. So be careful on that. Another thing is he has the lights that are very super fast. So, the trick is, you hold the heavy while you're doing that, so if you don't do it, he will just go for the uh, unblockable heavy. So, the trick is, you need to learn, I don't know if you guys, how do you guys uh, keep the controller, or if you're on the keyboard, that's the, another thing. I'm playing on controller, so I'm talking about controller players. You need your middle finger on the heavy, and your index finger on the light to do this. So just uh, you need to have the muscle memory for it. Uh, he 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 needs a lot of muscle memory, guys. So you need to take him to the uh, tra training mode and uh, train with him until your muscle memories are uh, fully introduced to this uh, move sets, which which is, he has a very unique move set. Uh, so yeah, so index finger on the light and uh, the middle finger on the heavy. All right, the final tip that I'm going to tell you guys is the back step light while you're holding back, you do the light. Many people do that and there's a good reason for it because Highlander can chain into the offensive mode after lights. So you do double lights, you can go for it. But not the heavies, so for example I do that, I'm holding heavy, but nothing happens. I do light, light, heavy, I hold it, nothing happens. So only lights. So the reason they do the dash, uh, like the holding back and do the light, because not only you are safe from the light parries, but also you're going to go into your best uh, you're going to have access to your best movesets. So that's uh, the trick. So hold back, light, go for it. Or if you think your opponent is going to react to your dash forward like and immediately go for a uh, dash forward heavy or dash forward light, you can either, because he has a very good recovery, uh, the soft thing, you see, you can immediately dodge it and go for the kick. 
or you can do the side heavy or top heavy. All right, let's talk about our noisy boy, Jormungandr. After any light, oh god damn it, you can go for uh, the guard break after that, which will unbalance them, and you can go for the beautiful hammer slam. Or after a heavy, you can do this. Remember, not the final, the finisher heavies, you can change that into the. After a zone, you can go for it, and you can faint it, of course. Let me demonstrate. Do not delay it much because they can stand up and uh, parry or block it. And he has a secret move that many of you might uh, sleep on it, don't know about it. But many veteran players uh, know that trick. Uh, I mean, it's not a, a veteran thing after the rework they gave it to them. Which is the second zone attack. It has hyper armor at the very early uh, phases, so it will. It's it's built to keep you doing your moves because it's just like storm type of raider. It will reset your moves. It will count as like you did a zone attack at first, so your it it counts as your first attack, so you can follow it up with the finisher. So for example, I'll do double light. See, I resetted my uh, uh, move sets. Uh, with the zone attack follow up. They parry it, so it's wise to sometimes go for that. So, yeah, you do, for example, double heavy. You can do the zone. And the light, after that, you can again do the zone. Let me show you. For example, double light. Heavy. Light. Alright, now I'm going to talk about the punish, because uh, the reason I'm going to talk about the punish because so many people fuck it up. They they don't have the muscle memory, f just like me, I sometimes. They only do that, while they're not next to a wall. It does only 12 damage, guys. For example, I do this. 12 damage. But if you don't have any walls around you, do du double light. Double light. Easy as that. You think you're a centurion or a peacekeeper. Especially a peacekeeper. Double light. Uh, and try to smash it. Because it will work. <laughs> I'm smashing it. So. Uh, that's about the punish. While you're next to a wall. For example, I'm in front of the wall. Do a top heavy. And a top heavy. I'm next to a wall. On the side. So do a heavy on the side to wall splat them. And you get a free top heavy. And after that. You can do this. But you can only, you will, or you can do this. It, uh, this will, uh, the, the knee, the knee will only deal 12, while the heavy will do, uh, deal uh, 12, the knee will deal 10, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, next to a wall, next to a wall, side heavy, or top heavy, if you're in front of the wall, do a top heavy. Like this so let's talk about the best move that I've seen so many people don't do it which is very useful because it's a bash do the dash forward bash it follow-ups uh, with a guaranteed light which is nice but they can't dodge it it's uh, you can't like uh, uh, chain it after you with it and then you can do a zone 2 for more damage if you want and it just counts as a light, you can go for any good stuff you want. Alright, let's talk about Warlord. <laughs> he has the dash forward bash, headbutt. After that, you follow it up immediately with a special move uh, that is not parryable. Deals 15 damage, that's a lot of damage. It's very useful, use the headbutt a lot. He has the full block. Uh... You can block anything, you won't take any damage, but take only stamina damage, I guess. And after that, you either press while you're holding down, you press light. Or you press heavy, which is undodgeable. Many people waiting for that, so be careful of that. And be careful, you can't change your stance while you're doing the full guy. So if, you, if your opponent is uh, like not very 
unconcentrated and very very focused on you and he sees your guard it stands while you go to a guard he's waiting for that side for a light because um, either way the undodgeable is not that hard to react to, to be honest it's not that hard but uh, yeah be careful on that for example it's you're on top you go for it and you do a light it will immediately pop out from the top and they're waiting for it so be careful of that now and he has a un undodgeable zone attack as well on the guard breaks he he has he's very powerful on the guard breaks because he can wall splat and let me show you guys how much stamina damage it does okay all right so let's <laughs> let's see how much the stamina damage it does first of all the thing that i just noticed you have to hold the guard brick all the time through your uh throwing your opponent into the wall because if you don't if you just tap it you see it only deals 20 damage and uh, your opponent won't go blind so while hitting the wall so while you hold it Press and hold the guard break while you're moving your opponent. It deals 60 damage worth of stamina. It deals a lot of damage to stamina. Like, almost half of your opponent's stamina will be gone after a guard break. And they're going to be blind. You see, blind for two seconds. That's not much, but it's enough for another sneaky light or a dash forward. Headbutt. And sometimes you definitely don't want to do the headbutt. You just empty dash forward and go for a guard break. And here's the trick. Sometimes you dash forward, do a light. It will catch their dodge. Or better so, dash forward, do a zone attack. It will catch their dodge attack as well. So, these are what I've witnessed for Warlord. I'm going to quickly talk about the out of stamina punish because it's a very... Uh, nice trick it has a very nice trick to it all right they are out of stamina punish while you're next to the wall if you guard break and throw your opponent to the wall you can you can get a double heavy i was very slow on that but again hold uh, the guard break so do not let go of guard break all the way you throw your opponent so throw them to the wall immediately press double heavy that's a guaranteed double heavy that's a lot of damage <laughs> while you're next to a wall while you're not next to a wall that's not going to work you're going to stand up quickly so you can only do a top light and the follow-up uh, heavy that's again not a, not a bad punish but the best punish is against the wall another thing is if your guard is on top only top because the top heavy is faster on the guard break you only do the top heavy, not the side heavy because side heavy is slow if you guard break them Hold the guard break, double top heavy, if your guard is on top of, uh, when you guard break. Nothing else will work, I tried it. So, while you're not in, next to the wall and your guard is on top, you can do the double top heavy. Or top heavy and the side heavy. Let's see. I was too slow. <laughs> and the side heavy. Doesn't matter because uh, all the finisher heavies deal uh, 29 damage. So that's it for the Warlord, be sure to use the headbutt, it deals stamina damage as well, so use that, it's, it's very it's very special. And also final thing that I forgot to say on the full block, if they hit your shield, you can follow it up with the light, it's guaranteed, and I think it deals uh, 15 damage. That's it for the Warlord. Alright, let's talk about uh, a very good hero, especially in duels. Uh, called uh, the Valkyrie. Uh, she has the special move, which is the sweep, that you can do as the third attack, which means the finisher attack, double light, you go for it, and you can follow it up with another heavy. It will reset uh, your uh, frame advantage, so be careful on that. For example, you can do this as well on the guard breaks. You can move and do the sweep and go for it or you can just do the heavy doesn't doesn't matter both of them deal a uh, significant amount of damage and the same amount of damage now let's uh, talk about the real deal here deal here that makes uh, valkyrie so special which means uh, she can chain 
uh, softens her first frame of heavies into a full guard. And you can cancel it with a with the cancel button. I don't know if you're using the keyboard or controller, so I'm telling the cancel button. And you can sometimes let it fly that the heavies fly. They think you're going to like for example go for a full guard and they try to guard break you, so you let it fly. For uh, for Valkyrie, you you want to let so many attacks fly. Don't don't be afraid of not letting them fly because your opponent basically is always trying to guess what you're going to do. So, for example, you go for it. If you let it go, it will do a bash, which has a guaranteed follow-up light, which acts as the second attack in your chain, so you can afterwards go for a finisher move. So, heavy, soft feint, finisher move. Heavy, soft feint, finisher move. For example, watch this. See, that's so good, like you can infinitely go to the bash and punish your opponent while they're trying to, for example, if they have the crush encounter, you do the heavy, the crush encounter, you beat the crush encounter here, and you do it, uh, and you do, and you let it go. You can cancel it even, and see if they're going to dodge, so, for example, cancel, go for a guard point. You can do that, don't do that much, because opponents basically, well, the ones that I faced usually don't dodge, so just let it fly or sometimes wait a little bit. As soon as you saw them dodging, go for it. <laughs> you will catch them uh, in the recovery of their dodge. And while you're next to the wall, okay, for example, you're in this position, your final attack try to be the light and Another trick that I'm going to tell you guys is that while you're playing against a Valkyrie, beware of that as well. While you're next to a wall, they tend to do the finishing light to make you unbalanced and throw you to the... reposition you to the wall. What else I'm going to tell you guys is that the wall splat, you can do this as well or you can do a heavy. I told you guys it doesn't matter. And he has the full guard. You see my shield brightens up. Yeah, as soon as you do it, it just counts as a deflect. You do a deflect and press heavy. It's called a shoulder pin and it deals bleed damage. You see that? It deals a lot of damage. That's a uh, one bar and a half uh, damage. Okay, I fucked that up. Do it. Do it. Alright. That's for the, the Valkyrie, the final thing. Dash forward, you can... Uh, you can do it in a neutral too. See? You can do it too. And of course you can cancel it with a dodge. Uh, the dodge... Uh, while you're doing the... Uh, while you're playing with a uh, controller, it's so hard. So uh, this is much more for the... Uh, keyboard players because uh, they have more options on their hands they can do things separately so yeah you can cancel it with the dodge just like Shaolin but yeah because you're holding the uh, square or uh, X you can't press a, a while you're doing it a little bit hard you need to like hold it with your thumb the tip of your thumb and then uh, with the base of your thumb try to dodge <laughs> and this is what I do for example, let's do. See? Alright, let's talk about one of the best heroes in the game already. One of the, like, OP ones. Named Shaman. Let's talk about the basic movesets. You can double light on the same side. To immediately go for your final uh, chain. Or you can do this and go for a heavy. That heavy will be your finisher. But that's not the end of your finisher move, because after you land the heavy, you can follow it up with a very quick, it's unreactable, guys, it's 400 milliseconds. Uh, and basically you only see 300 milliseconds of uh, the attack, because after the CCU update, if you guys don't know about CCU update, I'm going to talk about CCU update, if you tell me in the comments. And, uh, yeah, after that, it's so hard to react to it, so it's, let's say it's unreactable, you have to guess. 
if he's going, to, she's going to do it or not. And uh, she has the light into heavy, and after that, uh, of course, after any heavy that you land, even the unblockable, you can uh, go for a bleed attack. And of course, you have a double heavies. Now, the trick and interesting part of Shaman is uh, that she has the unblockable, but it's only at the left side of you. So, like, you do a heavy, you do the heavy on this side, nothing happens. On the other side, it's going to be the unblockable. So, and Shaman has the soft feints on the heavy, so, yeah, you don't need to cancel it like this. And then go for a uh, guard break. You can immediately go for a guard break. Or... Now this is where the fun begins. You can sub faint it just like Peacekeeper. But unlike Peacekeeper. You can change your direction. That's why she's so good. Peacekeeper only does the sub faint bleed on the top. But uh, Shaman has sub faint bleed on all sides. You can change them any anywhere you want. Like for example I want to do the bleed on the top. I do a side heavy. While hold, holding the guard up, immediately, immediately press light, you see? Or, for example, side heavy, I don't change my guard, just press light on the same side. Or you can change it on the left side, he's going to block it, so I'm not going to show you that. And that's the power of Shaman, and the power of Shaman comes from a bleeding enemy. That's where Shaman gets more... Uh, more more fearsome let's see for example any attack you do will heal you so for example the opponent is bleeding you do a heavy it heals you for a little bit we're going to talk about the dash forwards this time uh, because uh, after that i'm going to sh uh, tell you guys the thing that anyone knows about it so the dodges the dash forward and the back da uh, back dodge they have a property you can, while dashing, press square or the guard break and hold it. While you hold it, she goes to this uh, move. You see? And anytime you let it go, she will go for a bash. This bash will guarantee a double light or a zone attack after it. Or if you're next to a while, it's going to wall splat, which will, gives you, which will give you a free heavy. Doesn't matter which side, all the heavies deal the same amount of damage. And you can cancel it as well. See? I cancelled that. See? I cancelled that. And you can go for the guard break to catch them dodging. Or you can just wait for them to do the dodge attack and get a uh, free. This will specially... I'm going to actually talk about it later. Now, on the back, back dodge, you can uh, uh, again do that. The best thing about the back dodge and this move is that if your opponent attacks and you react to it by backing dodge, you can actually uh, completely dodge the attack and then you can punish it with a bash. So uh, that's th that's a very good uh, feature that Shaman has. And also, if you dash backward, you can see I can uh, I'm I'm holding my uh, heavy right now. If you tell me what difference you see when you press guard break and you press heavy, you're very, very observant. I'm going to tell you guys at the end. If you hold a heavy, you can uh, change your direction. And then when you, when you let it go, she will lunge toward the enemy on that side and press the heavy. So the power of this, I'm going to show you the trick. The power of this, your opponent might try to guess and go for a blind parry. So, you cancel it into a guard break. <laughs> you guard break them. <laughs> That's so good. Especially many shamans do that. Do not do it. It's just very cheap. I don't like to do it. They try to spam it. Like this. And then go for, a, for example, a guard break. Cancel it into a guard break. It works. Don't do it a lot. Sometimes do it. Not do it. Don't, don't spam, guys. So, after a bleed... <laughs> That's where Shaman gets very, very aggressive. You need to, you need to be very aggressive with, him, with her. Thirty-five damage, guys. That's a lot of damage. So, how can you fuck your opponent up? Here's the deal, now, guys. For example, you do a bleed. You wait. Oh my God, you wait. 
or you cancel it. For example, you wait, your opponent dodges, thinks, okay, she's going to immediately go for it. You wait and then go for the grab. While they're dodging, they can't do anything. Or, <laughs> or, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Or you wait, cancel it, they do the dodge attack. Dodge attacks uh, count as, a, you know what, a light parry. After you parry the light, you can immediately dash forward into a uh, guard break and go for the bite. After a heavy, you can't do that, but after a light, it's guaranteed. You can do it. Or you can, like, guard break them and then do this. That's that's awesome. Like, uh, you, you, you don't need to even dash forward for this. You just guard break, throw another guard break. You don't need to even dash forward for it. You just press guard break and she will emit immediately go for it. All right, let's talk about uh, this move. <laughs> Shaman can do it, is one of the heroes that can do it. You see? I bypassed every attack she do he does. <laughs> so you can't do that to a hero that wants to trade with you. Uh, trade your... Uh, deflect. So yeah, you see, that's that's awesome. And she has the dodge attack as well. Uh, you can. Uh... <laughs> you see, it's so fun. Do it, do it on raiders. It's so fun. If they be, if they be very uh, observant and be like uh, trying to adapt, they go for a guard break after it. But uh, still, uh, not many people uh, do it. They think, okay, I'm going to trade with her. Uh, if, if she's going to do the deflect on me. So that's the video for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I was missing something, tell me in the comments. Nobody is perfect for uh, for sure. And see you guys in the next video, which will be the Samurai faction. Goodbye.